Welcome back to Kibber Data Science Channel. This is the second in a series of uh, walkthroughs of the manual for the uh, the free 42S uh, calculator emulator. Uh, this is a, a full clone emulator of the HP 20 HP 42S. It's of course freely available it runs on Android, iOS, and uh, Mac as well as Linux and Windows. <clears throat> you can of course Buy them on, on eBay. You can still get the HP 42S on eBay <clears throat> for, uh, say between $120 on up. You can also buy a, uh, <clears throat> a, uh, DM42, which is a re-implementation or a clone of the HP 42S. It actually uses the, uh, <clears throat> the, it actually uses the free 42 BIOS to the free 42 code to, to make this, by the way. But anyway, so you can certainly do one or two ways. You can uh, now, as, as far as where to get the free 42S, the free 42, <clears throat> all you got to do is just search for free 42. And here's the home page downloads. Here you see the downloads. Source code, of course, is available. Down here's where you see the manuals. Here's the HP2 owner's manual, the HP2S program examples and, and techniques. And there's also, uh, there's, there's actually two manuals. There's the original manual, which is this, and then there's the alternate manual. Uh, they both look the same to me, but anyway, it's all right. So anyway, so we come back over here briefly, take a look at the directory. And you, and you see, here's the alternate manual, the official manual, and the examples. Now, you notice here, there's a binary as a decimal. What's the difference? Well, if you come down here, in the readme file, we, we all read the readme file, right? Okay, good. Okay. There's a long explanation here of what, what the differences are. But the only thing we have to worry about is, is this, is this last sentence here. If, on the other hand, you need full... 42S compatibility, you should use the FD42 decimal. If you don't fully understand the above, it's best to play it safe and use the 42M decimal. So we're going to play it safe, and we're going to use a 42S decimal. Okay? So there it is. Now, one note. <clears throat> I found out a little, little research. In order to get back to this menu with the two X and Y shows, you just use the exit button to exit out of the function you're in until you get back to here, okay? Now, let's take a look at the alternate, alternate manual now. We are up to, uh, we're up to, uh, chapter three, which is about memory, okay? Now, the difference between, of course, the original 42 S and ours is, it's, it basically, has access to all the memory and the processing power all on your phone or your, or, your, or your laptop, okay? So that's one thing interesting is. What's it say here anyway? The real HP 42S has about 7,200 bytes of memory, while the free 42 can have much more depending on the available memory in the computer handheld. In fact, 72 bytes is a lot of memory for HP 42S. A program of 10 lines uses about 15 bytes of memory. This means that while in some other models, like the HP 20S, you would have, you'd be able to program just 99 lines. With the 42S, you'd be able to create a program with thousands of lines. Okay, but since, since I'm using an Android uh, phone and a uh, Windows 10 desk uh, laptop, I, I can have even more, I could, I could probably have hundreds of thousands of lines. The available memory is shared with everything, including programs variables. Let's start from the basic. To store a number, which is, which is, to store a number, which is in register X of the stack, we use a store function. The HP 42S has by default 25 registers, or 25 positions in the memory. R0 is R24. 
the store number pi in 10, just do the following, okay? Pi Someone took the store. Store. Zero. Enter. Okay. So now let's try deleting the, all these. Okay. Now, let's try recalling this number then. And there it is back from memory. Oh, that worked fairly well, didn't it? <clears throat> if you want to make an operation, you can use store plus, store minus, store times, store divide. Any of these operations can be done, can be entered by by processing by, by pressing the store key followed by the operation key followed by the register number or name. For for example, let's do this. Okay. Six store minus five enter. Let's try this one more time. Just to make sure we didn't miss something here. Well, by the way, like I said, to get back to this here, this screen here, the X and Y, you use the enter key. Okay? So, where are we here? Let's do store 10. Let's do this. For example, 6 store minus 0, 05 subtract 6 from R05. Subtracts five. Where's the five come from? Six store minus zero five. Let's do this. Six store minus zero five. Enter. Okay. Okay. Two store divided by Two store divide divides the the number of uh, R ten. So what is R ten? Let's do this. Let's say recall. Yeah. Okay, so that's 1.57. Okay. So how do you clear memory? That's the question. <laughs> All right. Okay. Divides the number in, in R10 by 2. Two store ten divides the number in R ten by two. Okay, let's do this. Let's say So first we enter the value, 
do a store, enter, okay. So now we store 10 and register 10. If we now say, so we now say, recall, recall 10, okay. Okay, so it's a little backwards. So now if we come back up here and we say 6 store minus 10. Gives us six, right? Recall. So one more time. So one more time. Let's store. Twenty store enter. So now once again let's do six store minus enter. Okay, let's do this. Recall and that's fourteen. So how do you get rid of memory? Okay, let's take a look here at the uh, at my lab. So, what are we going to do? We're going to store twenty five, store five. Uh, interesting. I'm not quite sure what that means, honestly. Let's continue moving on here. Recall 10. Let's, let's see if we actually have 0, 1, nothing. Recall 0, 2, nothing. Recall 0, 3, nothing. Recall 0, 4. Nothing. Call zero five minus twelve. Hmm. Recall zero six. Nothing. Recall zero seven. Nothing. Recall zero eight is nothing. Recall zero recall fourteen. Now if I come up here now and I say well let's clear out the fourteen. Recall Six, 
So how do we Okay, not quite sure at this point how to do this. Okay. Provide your number at R10 by 2. Okay. 2 store divided by Right, two store divided by ten divides the number in R ten by two. Okay, twenty five positions in memory is not enough for you. You can change the number by using the size function, which is included in the second line for the modes. For example. Okay. Okay. The positions are stored in a, in a normal matrix called regs. We, the poor owners of HB33S, for example, just have 25 positions. Right? Now, but this kind of memory position only accepts real numbers. What about if you want to store other type things like matrices, complex numbers, or even other real numbers? To do this, the HP42S has an arbitrary number of positions limited only by the memory available, which uses letters to label positions instead of numbers. We have stored pi in R10. We can create a variable called for example, pi to store in. To do this, just do orange enter so I enter store Enter Okay. Actually, it is not just pi you type. But N O P Q P F G H I. But we wrote for we wrote for simplicity. Now to get this number back, it's just type recall. Okay, good. All right. More generally, the store and recall functions automatically bring up the menu of previously defined variables. Currently active in, in a calculator. And you can use the arrow key if there are more than, a, than fit on the screen.
Okay. You can also use the store plus, store minus, store time. Even in this case, since the types of the things you are the same. We can deal with four registers of a stack as we deal with memory positions. In this case, the lines of the stack are STX, STY, STC, and STT respectively. To access this, we press pound. Okay. So, to access this, we press period before the name of the register. For example, by store period puts line five in the X stack. Okay. The submenu that displays the period actually has two other items. It has an STL. S2 refers to the last register, and IND is used for indirect parameters. As a contact of the stack, as a content of the stack can change easily. I don't think store is a good thing, but I cannot say the same as uh, same of recall, which may be useful useful to give the the content, especially register ZT. You can also use store and recall with plus, minus, x, and divide, times and divide, and period to work with while the content of the registers of the stack. For example, 5 store divided by period Divide Z by 5. Actually, I think a mobile app will hear it, but that's quite all right. We'll quickly move on to the catalog menu after finish reading these parts here. We can use indirect parameters by pressing pound I and D. The period I and D. Okay, yeah, I got slightly distracted here. <laughs> that location could be name, a name variable, one of numeric numbered stored registers, or a stack register. For example, to assign the value 125 to the register specified in variable ABC. So we're going to do store. Store uh, Okay. Now anyway, I keep getting uh, distracted here. Ten store. Okay. 
pin store Okay. Ten store. Okay. One, two, five store period. Where is the IND? You're not really sure about this one. Let's close this. We can use an indirect parameter. Okay. But where's the IND function? Maybe it's a uh, store. Once again, you do ABC. Pin store. I don't understand. And register pointed to indirectly by ABC. Returns the value 125 to the X. Okay, not really sure, period. Hmm, okay, well, honestly, I'm not quite sure what the, what I and D refers to. The question is, but how do you clear a register? Unless it, you know, unless it's
Okay. So let's take one, two, five. Store. Period. Well, there it is. Okay. Recall. Okay, good. Okay, so now let's move on to the catalog menu. See if we can clear this out here. How do you clear? I don't understand how to clear a memory out there. Okay, beginning uh, with chapter section 3.1, this is the catalog menu. That's the pound here. Okay, you can see the functions here. FCN, PGN, Real, CPX, MAT, MEM. FCN, FCN. It shows all the functions available on the HP22 calculator. It has many lines, and one must use the, to navigate through the lines. Here you're going to find important functions we don't see in the keyboard, including hyperbolic functions like sine h and cosine, looks like functions they work with integer and real numbers like IP, integer part, and FP, fraction part. Programming functions. Don't forget, you can also use XEQ function names. So let's do this. Let's do. Let's do this. Okay, good. PGM. It shows all variables with programs in memory. Oops. Decimal. Okay. Let's do this. Pound catalog PGM. Okay. Real. It shows all variables with real numbers in the memory, but does not show numbers in the number registers zero. So let's do this. Pound catalog. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Shows all variables with. Shows all variables with complex numbers. No complex variables. That makes sense. Matt, it shows all number all variables with matrices. Okay. Mem shows all available memory. Okay. 
Nunca lá, lá. Okay. 3.2. More on the clear menu. Yes, that's right. We already saw some of the clear menu functions, but, but there's also CLV clear variables for stored using this store name. CLRG clears the registers 0, R0, 0, 0. Okay. Let's do this then. Oh, good. Okay. Clear all memory of the calculator. <laughs> Clears the LSC display may be used in plot. Clears all memory from the calculator. Well now. There. 3.3. 3. 3.2 3. actually answers some questions I had about how to clear out, uh, clear data out. Okay. A custom menu. A custom menu right down there above the two. This is not really related to memory, but as we have just discovered, FCN menu within the catalog menu. Now is a convenient place to talk about it. The HP 42S calculator has a lot of functions. So many, in fact, that it's 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 inconvenient to find the function you want you want every time in the in the FCN and the function menu, or even use or, or to use XGQ function name every time. To solve this problem, HP 42S has a custom menu that can contain functions or user written programs. You personally, you personally select. To do this, you used the orange assign. When you call this, you can select a function from, and also some other things. For now, we are interested in functions. So press uh, FCN. Now you find a function you want, and then press the position you want it to appear in the custom. Menu. Okay, an example. Let's put the A, B, a, absolute value in the first position of the uh, custom menu. Custom. Wait. Assign FCN to let's assign a let's assign FCN. Now you see this by ABS. Then you pick a position. For example, initially, the custom menu is empty. And you have, right? And you press the first blank, and your custom menu will become this. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, probability. I don't know what. The, first, first, uh, first, a disclaimer here. 
a lot of the functions I see in here, I really don't understand. I mean, I'm, I'm one of those people who barely barely survived Algebra 1. So a lot of what you're going to see here uh, in this walkthrough is simply walking through the menus and stuff. It's not actually going to explain to you how to use the ABS function or how to use the probability function, okay? So now that's this. So now we can come back down here. ABS, and there's our first function. Good. So we say seven. Uh, okay. As you can see, the custom menu, menu the custom menu also has a up and down arrow, which means that there are more than one line. There are three lines you can use when calling assign functions, which means 18 available positions. If you would like to use the space, like use the space to make a complaint, <laughs> there are some HP models with more than 2,000 functions. Many functions do not always mean power, but does always mean complexity. Section four, probability. Probability functions are in the, are they really? Probability functions are in the, uh, are in the prob function over the x key, over the times key. They are com, perm, in, in bang, gam, and seed. GAM, this calculates the number of combinations of N. N things take an R at, at a time. Mathematically notated as C. The order does not matter. Okay. One thing one thing cannot appear more than one time. They think, for example, if we have five letters, A, E, I, O, and U, the possible combination taken one at a time, or A, E, I, O, U, for five combinations. Taken two at a time, it's A, E, A, I, okay, good. Five combinations. The number of combinations C is given by this function here, where n bang equals n times n minus i times n minus 2, da, 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 da. To calculate this using, using, as just press, just press n, enter, or r, Just press in, press enter, enter R, and press combine. Press in, okay. Okay, to calculate this using this enter in, press enter, and enter R, and press prob com. Not quite sure what this means, but let's see what happens here. In, press enter. Five. Invalidate. Okay. So I don't understand that function there, but I'm sure you do. <laughs> Perm. This calculates the number of permutations of N 
n things taken r at a time, on it mathematically notated as this. That thing cannot appear more than one time, but now the order matters. Example, five cars are in a race. Their colors are red, blue, green, white, and cyan. What are the, prob what are the prob prob possible results for the first, second, and third place winners? Solution, for the first position, we have five positions. For the second position, we have four possibilities and three possibilities for the third position. So we have five times four times three equals 60 different arrangements. To see this using the 42S, let's clear everything first here. To see this in 42S, press 5, enter, three, and press Well, that's kind of interesting. Very good. Very good, okay. That's an interesting function, I'm sure. In particular, R equals N. All the things are taken. The number of permutations is N. Example. How many ways can we rearrange the letters of the word love? Solution. N I. This this just calculates the factional the factorial of N given N bang equals N. One for number non-negative interest. The biggest number allowed in HP 42S is 253. And in free 22 is 170. GAM, this is the gamma function, which is defined in this code right here. For an integer number, we have n equals n minus 1 bang. And in, and in, but the argument of the gamma function can be non interesting but must be real. And at, at, in this point, HP42S is different from the 33S, which has only one function for both things. RAN, this is a random number generator, which gives a pseudo random number between 0 and 1. Let's try this again. Let's do this. Okay, problem rule. Seed. It's a secret of pseudo random numbers always starts with the with with a seed. If you want to repeat the seed, the sequence repeats. To enter a new seed, just enter a number and press seed. If the seed is zero, the calculator will generate another seed. Okay. Let's try it again. Hmm. Okay, moving on to section five now. Is there a way to see how long I've been talking here?
Okay. I think I'll call this it for right now because it's been about 50 minutes. I'm sure that's, you have more than enough time. So we'll pick up with uh, Section 5 in the next video. Thanks so much for, for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't done so already, please, please, please press the red S button, the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Okay? Thanks so much. Catch you later.